uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to multiply fractions using the standard rule and using diagramming. Okay, uh, typically when we uh, multiply two fractions, it's a very straightforward method. All we do is multiply top to top. So that's three times two, six, over the product with the bottom numbers. Four times five is 20. And then we simply reduce this six over 20. So we think of a number that can divide six and 20. It's best to think of the largest number that can divide six and 20. In this case, it's two. So reducing this six over 20 to three over 10. Very simple, straightforward. Just multiply across top to top, three and two equals six, and then denominators four and five equals 20, and then just reduce it equal to 310. Okay, let's take another example. <clears throat> so you have one fourth multiplied by, say, two thirds. Again, we multiply top to top. That's one times two equals two, and then four times three is equal to 12. Okay, so again, we reduce this two over 12 by two. That's the number that can divide two and 12. That's the greatest common factor between two and 12. So we got the one over six. Okay, one fourth times two thirds. How do we multiply two fractions using diagrams? So one fourth and two thirds. Okay, so let's use that same number, one fourth times Okay, two thirds. So what we'll do is we can draw a square and then okay we're gonna represent this one fourth by dividing this square into four sections. Let's do it vertically, okay? Okay, so the denominator 4 represents the number of sections in the square. And then the top number 1 is going to be shaded. So if I ask you what fraction of this square is shaded, it's 1 shaded out of 4 sections. Okay, this second fraction here, <clears throat> okay, we're going to draw another square same size we can make it like congruent to that first square or same shape and size okay so this time we're going to divide the square into three parts okay three sections but instead of doing it vertically we're going to do it side to side okay horizontally so we divide in into three sections horizontally so the first square, we did it vertically. The second square has to be done horizontally, okay? So there are three sections in it, and then two of them have to be shaded. Okay, so let's say, kind of like use a different uh, designs to represent the shaded sections of this square, okay? So two of them are shaded. So what we're gonna do next, <clears throat> is we're going to overlay this second square on top of the first square, okay? So we're gonna visualize having those two squares, okay, together in, in just one diagram. So we can draw the first one again, okay, divide it into four sections. We're just going to redraw the first square Okay, so that's the one fourth. And then we're going to overlay this second square. So we divide that earlier into three parts, okay? And then we shaded two sections. All right, now, <clears throat> 
if we do this multiplication of one fourth and two thirds using the standard rule, which is top to top, two over four times three is twelve. Okay, where is this two over twelve in this picture over here? Okay, do you see the two over twelve? Now let's start at the bottom. Where is the twelve sections here? Okay, so let's count. How many squares in total are there in this square it's like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so there are like 12 total number of squares and how many overlaps okay so we just need to find the overlaps for the two shades so we see this square has both the the lines and the little dots okay so that's one overlap okay so this two is another overlap okay so we have two squares with overlaps two overlapping squares so the two overlapping squares those are the the numerator okay so the numerator represents the overlaps so we're not going to count those squares with only dots or lines okay so the numerator has to be the two overlap two overlapping regions then when we reduce this by two you get one over six all right so that's how we represent the standard rule of multiplication of fractions using this diagram. The diagram uh, diagramming method helps helps us to visualize what's happening when we multiply these two fractions. Okay, <clears throat> let's take one more example. Let's say two thirds times uh, three fourths. Again, this is top to top six over. 12, okay, which reduced to 1 over 2, 1 half. Okay, so that 2 thirds, denominator 3, is the total number of sections. So let's divide this into three parts. Now the numerator 2 is the number of shaded region, okay, so we shades two of them. <clears throat> Let's go to the three fourths. Okay, the three fourths this time denominator is four, so we divide this into four sections, but this time we do it side to side. Okay, that's horizontally. And since the numerator is three, so what we do is okay, so we shade three rectangles out of four. Okay, now let's overlay the second square on top of the first square okay so we just draw one and they okay they are on top of each other so let's draw the first one again that's two shaded okay two shaded out of three now the second square and Okay, I'm overlaying the second square now. So we divide this into four sections. Okay, let me use a different color. Okay. So the second square is three fourths. So we got the got the four sections, and we're going to shade three of them. Okay, so we're gonna shade three of them. That's one, two, okay, three. Now let's count the overlap. 
this is the overlap over here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? Out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's the 6 out of 12. Again, that's re reduced to 1 half. Okay, I hope that helped. And thanks so much for watching. Until next time.